On the morning of March 25, 1911, the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory in New York City was bustling with activity, as young immigrant women worked long hours stitching together fashionable garments for the city's elite class. However, within hours, the factory would become the site of the deadliest industrial disaster in American history, claiming the lives of 146 workers, most of them young women. The Triangle Shirtwaist Factory, located on the 8th and 9th floors of the Ash Building in Manhattan's Greenwich Village, employed over 500 workers, mostly Jewish and Italian immigrants. The factory specialized in the production of shirtwaists, a popular style of women's blouse in the early 20th century. The work was grueling, with workers required to stand for long hours in cramped, poorly ventilated workspaces. Wages were low, and the work was often dangerous. The factory had a history of accidents, with workers reporting unsafe conditions such as blocked fire exits and overcrowded workspaces. On the day of the fire, the factory was bustling with activity as workers prepared to meet a large order. Shortly before 4 p.m., a fire broke out on the eighth floor, likely caused by a discarded cigarette or match. Panic quickly spread through the factory as workers scrambled to escape the rapidly spreading flames. However, many of the doors leading out of the building were locked, leaving workers trapped inside. Others attempted to escape by jumping from windows, but their efforts were in vain, many fell to their deaths on the pavement below. Firefighters arrived quickly on the scene, but they were hampered by several factors, including the height of the building and the lack of adequate ladders and hoses. Tragically, many workers found themselves trapped on the ninth floor, where the fire had quickly spread. Those who were unable to escape perished within minutes, as the fire quickly consumed the space. The Triangle Shirtwaist Factory fire remains one of the deadliest industrial accidents in American history, and its impact was felt across the country. In the days and weeks following the fire, there was an outpouring of grief and anger, as workers demanded better working conditions, increased regulation of factories, and higher wages. The tragedy also led to significant changes in the country's labor laws, including new regulations on workplace safety, stricter building codes, and increased protections for workers. In many ways, the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire was a turning point in American history, marking the beginning of a new era in which the well-being of workers was given greater consideration. However, while much has been done in the years since the fire to improve working conditions and protect workers, there is still much work to be done. Today, many workers still face unsafe working conditions, low wages, and a lack of job security. In many ways, the lessons of the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire are as relevant today as they were over a century ago. Perhaps the most enduring legacy of the tragedy is the reminder that, at the heart of every factory, every workplace, and every industry, are the people who make it all possible. These workers, often immigrant women and people of color, labor tirelessly behind the scenes, often under difficult and unsafe conditions. The Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire serves as a powerful reminder of their sacrifices and a call to action to ensure that they are given the respect, dignity, and protection they deserve. In the end, the deadliest factory fire in history proved to be a powerful catalyst for change, inspiring generations of Americans to fight for better working conditions, safer factories, and a fairer and more just society. While the tragedy itself is deeply heartbreaking, its legacy lives on in the fight for workers' rights, and in the ongoing struggle to build a better, more equitable world for all.